13 years of peer pressure finally makes us take off that analog purity ring. Things were going great when we were filming a music video until the minivan caught on fire. And this one, while she wants to wrap up everyone for Christmas, it's the debut episode of Bombs Away. The ex-bombers and vinyl have been an exclusive relationship since all the way back in 2010, but we've decided to spice things up a little bit. That's right, the ex-bombers are putting out their very first compact disc. Our record, New Love is Easy, is going to be available on CD for the very first time. People have been asking, we're nearly sold out of our LP, so it makes sense right now, but we're doing it deluxe style. We went back to the original master reels, we digitized them through a Tascam DA3000, and it sounds great. Great. Then we had those mastered by Jim Diamond. That's right, the Jim Diamond of Ghetto Recorders fame. Uh, he worked with the White Stripes, the Mooney Suzuki, the Von Bondies, the Sonics, the Electric Six, and even our friends in the Pack AD. And we're super excited what he did to our album. It's much grodgier and psychier. It's a very exciting listen. It fits in a stocking. That's exciting too. And we're doing a few other things that make it special. We're going with a full-size jewel case and artwork that's only available with the CD, not even the LP. Uh, and it's only 10 bucks through thexbombers.com or any of our live shows. And all the money goes directly to us, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, if you're spending a few bucks at the website, we're down to our last five, count them, five crew neck sweatshirts. Beautiful purple pearlescent ink on here. They're soft, they're wearable. Uh, they make it feel like you're wearing a hug as you drink your coffee in this time of year. Uh, only 20 bucks. Speaking of songs off New Love Is Easy, our new music video is out for the song I Keep Trying To Fix Bad With Worse. A um, little bit of a backstage thing going on here. We are performing the music section in a music venue that's mobile, that's also a sandwich emporium, and the van kind of caught on fire. Now everybody and everything ended up being okay, but it adds a little bit of an element of danger as you watch this music video, which we can tell you is highly absurd, holds up to multiple viewings is really great. We love dark things, but sometimes we turn that darkness on its head and it ends up being absurd. We're big fans of comedy like Kids in the Hall, and it was nice to be able to stretch that muscle. Please stop crushing my head. Anyways, give it a view, a couple of them, share it with a friend, uh, and consider donating a couple bucks to our next one and we'll keep making them for you. We sold out of our 2023 fan club packs pretty fast. It had a custom seven inch and a t-shirt that was exclusive to the fan club and there were only 30 of them available and they sold out way faster than we thought that they would. So everybody's been asking us all year, what's the plan for the 2024 fan club? Well, I can't tell you exactly what it is because it takes some of the fun out, but we can give you a couple of hints. Number one, it got over way huge on a international radio show and uh, you know, I would say that the full weight of a cult is behind it at this point. Uh, they're being replicated right now and there's only going to be 40 available this year. They'll be shipping mid-January. So when the weather gets cold, we always do some recording, and this year's no exception. In fact, in December we're going to start going back in our archives or something. But not just back, way back. Uh, see, Kitty and I were in a band together. It was a garage pop kind of band, jangly, nugget sort of stuff. Uh, back in 2007, we recorded an album that was never finished or released. Uh, the basic tracks are there, and scratch vocals are, so we're going to record all the vocals for it. And oh, wow, yeah, that age as well. Um, so uh, we're going to go and we're going to try some stuff and actually complete the record. And we do so because we like our records to sound different from one another. So New Love sounds very different than Five Star Nights. And Ivy is going to sound a lot different than New Love because sound is an amazing thing and we love to paint with those sorts of colors. Uh, so we're going to get weird. We're going to experiment. Uh, no plans on if we're releasing the Pat Boone Storm stuff. Clearly, December 2023 is a month of firsts for the X-Bombers, and our live shows are no exceptions. See, the holiday spirit has kind of crept into our lives this time of year, and we've decided we're going to do some holiday songs at our sets. So there's going to be special mini sets only at these shows in December that are going to feature holiday favorites and even a couple of our own original holiday songs. So if you're feeling like you should be wrapped up in the sound of the X-Bombers and hang out with us a bit, we're going to show you where you can do so. On Friday, December 15th, we return to Hickory Creek Brewing Company in New Lenox, Illinois, in front of the giant submarine. It's a great place to see a show, and any place with two subs on stage means a good time. Music 6.30 to 9.30.
On December 16th, Saturday, we returned to Bull Quarry and Brewhouse in Monroe, Wisconsin on our favorite tiny stage. Bull Quarry gets delightfully strange every time and they are such fun nights, it's worth the drive up, over, or down. Music 5.30 to 8.30. On December 22nd, Friday, we debut at Brother Chimp Brewing in Aurora, Illinois. A really neat space that comes highly recommended by other music and beer people. Music, 6 to 9. On Saturday, December 23rd, we return to Buffalo Creek Brewing in Long Grove, Illinois to have another pint of music with them. It's legitimately magical there in the winter. We only make it up to Lake County a couple times, and we guarantee you we will indeed be inside this time. Music, 6 to 9. And finally, the big one, on New Year's Eve, we time warp to 2024 at Val place in Dixon, Illinois. Music starts at 9 with a special Midnight Madness Perverse cover set, including some songs we'll only play that night. We spent New Year's Eve 2022 with Val and it was so much shared joy that we agreed right then to do 2023 Val's Rules. Now we purposely slow down in the winter months so don't miss these special shows and as always thexbombers.com for up-to-date shows and more info.